remember that every time you have an emotion when you're a child and you lock it up, it's going to need to be experienced as the child would have experienced it. So do you think the child will go and paint to do its release? No. So you see, a lot of times we can use these tools, right? They can help us open our soul to the prospect of dealing with our emotions, certainly, but they're not going to let it release until we're willing to go into that childlike state of release. Yeah. yeah. What do you, you're encouraged to be as a child, but what do you do if you're in an adult situation? Like the same thing, be a child. In a sexual situation. The same thing, be a love. child. How do you come back to the middle if you... You don't, you don't have to come back to the middle. See, see let, let's say I've experienced sexual abuse as a child and then I'm having sex with a partner and all of a sudden I'm in this childlike sexual abuse state, right? What do I need to do? Be a child. Stop. Just be the child right there and then. Respond as you... Like responded right there and then. Doesn't matter what your partner thinks about that. Immaterial. <laughs> like that's his law of attraction. <laughs> I'm serious, right? Go into that experience as the child. This is a law of attraction event that's occurred to bring up this emotion, to experience the emotion. You follow me? Don't try to get your back in self back into equilibrium. Let yourself fully experience it, grieve it, cry. But I feel like I didn't have a childhood. I feel like I didn't have sexual appropriateness. No, you didn't, but, but there is a lot of grief about that. And that's why you Seriously. go into a child during, during those events, right? So let yourself fully go there. Don't avoid it. Don't worry about what your partner feels. And if, and if it's an understanding partner or she's an understanding partner, what will happen is they will allow you to just experience that, right? Mm. And they'll understand that you're now in a child emotion. I can see you're in a child emotion. Go for it. Right? And they will automatically stop making love to you or anything and they will step back and let you do what needs to be done. Yeah? So, just any situation, just go into it. Doesn't matter how appropriate you think it is. What matters is you getting access to the emotion that's just been triggered by your law of attraction. Yeah. Be brave. Go for it. So the law of attraction is saying that whatever the situation is, it's going to be great for everybody. If you deal with it then and there, yeah. right at that moment, if you deal with it appropriately in truth then and there, it'll be great for every single person involved in that law of attraction then and there. Yep. It's a perfect situation. And you could deal with it at a different time, but it's not going to be as perfect as that particular situation that's just created. Does everyone follow that? Yeah. It's really important to understand that, because when you understand that, you, are, you feel free to be yourself at any given moment, knowing that everyone around you is going to get triggered just as you are being, if you stay in your truth. Everyone around you will deal with different emotions in the same manner you are dealing with it. It's a very powerful thing to understand that. Very powerful. Hey, Jake, can I just say one thing about this? In that when I see Jen being her child and releasing the emotions from her child, yep. um, that's when I, my heart really opens up to her. Exactly. Because she's in her emotional truth then. Mm. When a person's in their emotional truth, that's when you can be the closest to them that you could possibly be. It's exactly my experience. Yeah, spot on. It's really important to understand that. Hey, Jay, I don't understand what uh, Grant just said about it's an opportunity because the person that I know who's quite angry triggers me, then I go into my stuff. I can't see how it's an opportunity because if, if I went into my rage, then now you've got two. <laughs> but so, two he's angry like, because he's angry. in denial this is and you're in rage because you're in denial. Because remember, the rage, an adult type rage is a capping emotion, right? So, oh, so I thought you said there was rage underneath and I haven't even touched true, it. True, but th you can choose to touch that outside of this trigger. Okay. What you need to do in this trigger, that the example that you've just given, and I'm relating to that example okay. only, Sorry. Is, that, is that you need to allow yourself to get underneath that emotion and go into that childlike state of powerlessness that you feel okay. and also address that issue in truth. So a lot of times you're not standing up for yourself, right? 
And well, you, if I do, then I'm called a victim. No, you stand anything. up for yourself in anger, but you don't stand up for yourself in terms of just being firm. Okay. Right? And this is one of the lessons that you'll need to learn in the interaction. When you learn that and step away from whoever's doing it, what happens is that they will automatically start seeing what they're actually doing.